You know who DK Metcalf is? DK Metcalf. Well, he's, he's a wide receiver for um, the Seattle Seahawks. I'll play baseball. I'll try out run his ass. He was like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, but I mean. Oh, like the sprint, or? <laughs> the sprint, like we're playing baseball and I hit the ball and I took off and he just f***ing ran me down. I was still sore from a week after yeah. that. And I was like, f***, man. Yeah, because those guys, yeah, the, the long legs, their, like, their stride is different. Yep. But I believe I could have got him though. Yeah. I wasn't going to believe. No, I, I got I got outrun too by a f***ing fat ass dude. <laughs> but a former track athlete, but he was out of shape. All right, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Fucking fool, I was like, I was going, you could see my, you know, he just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, I gotta lie to you. Go! Okay. I want you working the whole time. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. We're we gonna be switching. We gotta work that dad bot off. Come on now. <laughs> Mind that either because you know, I, I, yeah, you can't. My safety net is exactly, yeah. Yeah. Anything that goes past my jab, yep, they can miss. Yep, boom. Okay, how would he apply this? But you also, it's just like, okay, now, yes. now as this gets slow, okay, I'm in, I'm in leg range, now I go, no. there you go. If you catch me, I don't, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, it, it, it's here. I, I'm gonna have to go, I, it has to be short, it has to be a quick short shot. And You're good, brother. We got I forget, man, we got a million. We're gonna work out, fuck, we know, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a little good, little burn, dude. Go! Because he's fundamentally off. Uh, yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like fundamentally. Yeah. You, you, you hit the nail on the head. What he does have is his back tick. Yeah. But I told him when I sit down with DC, I'm like, I want you on my legs. I'm yeah. gonna make you fucking suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I get ready for a fight, then, I, then, I, then I, I just become more of a professional now. Yeah. Now I cut all the shit that I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all isolated. It's all. Pinpointed. Yep, yep. Now I'll let the professionals. Yep. Therapeutically, I'm getting my body ready, my neck ready, my back ready. To when you go to and them. Go, yeah. And I even try to come out, like even when I start camp, I try to be a little out of shape yeah. where, where I know that I know where I have to build. Yeah. Because you don't want to be in camp because you're going to overtrain. Look at what we did today. Yeah. We drilled. Yep. And then we, at we attacked the body biomechanically. Yep, yep. Like, you know what I mean? Where we got, where you got that push. You said it right now. I was like, I'm not going to go on a run. That's where I get my being a runner my whole life i like to have that heart rate be pushed for a long period of time yeah. and then the swim kind of kind of relaxes it it's always laugh because i always like just beginning your like, yeah. like cross distance like as matt told me a fight exists yeah. like 
always should be, you know, back and forth. Not back and forth, but just yeah. always clashing. No, but the, the good thing about you though, Dimitri, is you're always in position, bro. You're not over balanced, you're not over back, like you're, like you figured out your rhythm, like your rhythm. Yeah. But it's, but your rhythm that's, that's, that's your structure, your bomb mechanic. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't believe in checking, bro. Checking is like the worst thing. Oh, fuck yeah, it should hurt. Yeah. You better off eating it. <laughs> yeah. But when you, when you make somebody miss, man, that's when the game really, fucking, really begins. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, I'm missing, I'm throwing, I'm hitting air. Yeah. It's discouraging to your opponent. If I never cross distance, or actually engage, this would be a boring ass fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, and that was the same thing. That's a, a lot of my fights in, in my career. Like even John Dodds, when I fought him, Matt was like, if you don't get him, go get his ass, this would be a boring ass fight. Should have got on his face, created space, got my knee across, framed against him and looked for um, submissions. Well, but that's the tricky part at one. Because when you did go to your side, that's that's when you caught the knee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost, you're almost gonna have to be more of those inching, scooting, scooting up, finding the cage or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, like I said, people get so upset when they lose. I'm like, ah, fuck, you know? Yeah. Well, you have to move on. I think if you know that you gave your best, like, that's, I used to be the biggest sore loser, dude, until I started understanding. I was like, I'm just a sore loser. Maybe it's just a drama act, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, though, when you did freaking. I was, I was discouraged for a minute. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, it was also like funny to me. Yeah. You know, I just like, I did all this <laughs> for that. <laughs> no. I'm just impatient. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm an impatient motherfucker. I, you spend eight, nine weeks getting in shape, but it's like, we gonna, you know, let's let's, let's get yeah. it going. That other guy, uh, Matu, what is his, what's his name? I can't pronounce uh, it. Yuya Wakamatu? Yeah. I, he, gave, he, gave, he gave you some, he gave you a scrap. He, he was ready to fight, man, yeah. Um, he's good, but that's when I knew I was like, dude, one of us is a real deal, man. You can't have it all. You can't have, you know, the rhythm. You can, but it's very hard to find, find it. If, if you're gonna wrestle in, in collegiate style wrestling, and you get out there and you go, you're in the, the highest level, you go, bro, I'm like, beep, you back up, beep. Don't f back up. Yeah. Stalling. Yeah. Do not stall. Yeah. You're here to wrestle. You wrestle, you, stop, you back up again, you ducking your point, right? Yeah. So here, you're not getting docked. So you can spend a minute and a half just moving around, yeah, just cruising, chilling, and then there's a little something that it's back out. So that's the difference. Like, there's no reason, there's no emphasis for somebody to, you know, like, if you're in a phone book, absolutely, you gotta fight because there's no room to run. Right. But here, he's very strategic about how he goes about his fights. Right. Where, where, where it's almost like... Have you seen those championships that they have in the phone booth? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I think that stuff is funny. <laughs> yeah, is for the like, car one. <laughs> the car like, ones where, where they start like, ready? No, <laughs> he's just like, oh, get your ass out! But he's watching. He's watching and he fuck you up. That's what they do, they watch. <laughs> hey, Brenda put that gum on the damn couch. You, you, can, you can go to town. Oh, what the hell happened yeah, here? Yeah, that uppercut. What happened there, Henry? What did you guys hear about that? Go back. <laughs> After this fight, I want to watch the Dominic Cruz fight with you. Yes, sir. Yeah, Dominic, Dominic's like super predictable. You used to move a lot. You used, you used to move a lot more. I did. And then I was like, you ain't gonna move all that much. Or you just, I was just trying to control distance. Yeah, but, ever since hey, you would you shit your ass up, boy? <laughs> how about you? Right. Yeah, how about you? I want to try to tell him. You, you laugh now, wait. <laughs> yeah, Miss Heard, she, Miss Heard, she's the worst yeah. one of them all. But I just love how well you just kept distance in this fight. But yeah, but not just that, but like I'm punishing them while staying distant, not taking any damage. Mm. Like I know that the mixing and everything that we're planning on doing is gonna come in the later rounds. Mm. I want to hurt his foundation, high, low, boom, boom, mm -hmm. coming up. See, I think my person, like, like I said, you move too damn much, right? I think he would have better off if he's longer stood in front of you and actually fought you instead of trying to make you, like, you're playing borders, right? Yeah. If you're gonna play borders, I'm playing borders too. I'm not gonna try to move around that border because you're dictating the control of it. Right? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But it's, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm thinking in my head, dude, this fight kick can stop, but either way, I'm bloody, whatever. I have to make sure that I win these next 36 seconds. I gotta, I gotta do something. Yeah. To steal the round or something. Because that's a, that's a competitor in me. Yeah. Right, I'm a, no, I'm in fights, but I'm calling him in, dude. Yep. Bah. So eventually, time it, dude. <laughs> that's right. You know, I called him in a little too much, but yeah. I mean, he fought for it. Yeah. He fell for it. 
Well, you guys are both at that, that rate. You're like, huh, 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 huh. Who's gonna go first? Who's gonna go first? Yep. Ah! And then this right hand, boom. But I ain't like Dominic, dude. He's a nice guy. He's upset. He yeah. just knocked him out. He took his gold from him. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? So it's hard. I mean, when I watch fights and I see how you're just like, Here, and then you wham, you kick, and you're, you're fine. I'm like, you just chilling. Like, it's almost like, but, 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 honestly, what it is, Demetrius is his confidence, dude. Mm -hmm. It's the confidence, and it's it's the technical, it's like, I'm confident with the technical plan that I have on, and I feel it. Yeah. Being short. Mm -hmm. This is why, dude, I'll, I'll take my chances with Hollywood. As crazy as that sounds to a lot of people. No, no, no. Uh, Volkanovski. Mm -hmm. Volkanovski. Volkanovski understands the game very well. Yeah. And he uses more of this. Mm. So as soon as you chop into his fight zone, like he knows what it is. He's going to start firing. He's timing it. Turn that camera off. So I hope you guys liked our training with Demetrius Johnson. I got to go. Uh, my final thoughts for him is like, man, he's super gifted. <laughs> you know, getting a chance to go with him today, I'm just like, man, I'm glad I got a win over him. You know, because I just know how good he is. His biomechanics, like it's almost like it's like a counterpartner. Like we both are our counterpartner, and there's a level of respect that we have for each other. That whenever we do say something or tell something to each other, it's like okay, you know what I mean? Like there's no question. Well, this is what I do. Like none of that. And I think it's just awesome, man, to see how much improvement, how much better he could still get when you get you know somebody that that that's been there with him, but also understands another style of fighting. You know, it's like iron sharpens iron, but it's it's uh. But iron, iron can always break iron too. And I think uh, with him, like I'm teaching him a whole new concept of training, of, of drilling. And uh, so far, so good. You guys continue to keep uh, tuning in to the Triple C and Demetrius Johnson show. What's up?